Your search to losing weight from the comfort of your home ends here. Hi there, namaste. Welcome to the 30 day yoga for weight loss challenge with me Naveen Sharma. This challenge is for everyone, whether you are a beginner or an intermediate practitioner. I have made sure that I give you scale down and scale up version in each session so that it is easier for you to follow it. If you follow this challenge to the T, trust me, you can expect results like losing inches, improving your flexibility, getting stronger and also building better balance. This is a weight loss challenge. So there are some rules for you to follow so that you can see best results. Rule number one, you need to complete each session till the end by giving your 100% and completing this entire challenge in 35 days. Yes, 35 days. I've given you a five day buffer in case you need that. All right, now rule number two, you need to make sure that you are clocking in at least 10K steps on a daily basis. It's a very important part of this challenge for you to see results. Number three, every session you will have one asana of the day. All you need to do is to shoot that in a video and post it on our community, Facebook community, Yoga with Naveen. This will help me see your performance, how you are practicing. With that one video, I can make suggestions into improving your alignment and posture correction. So make sure you do that as well. Just follow these three rules and you will see great results by end of this challenge. If you have any question for me for this series, any query regarding anything else, you can directly reach out to me on my Instagram handle, which is itsnaveen.sharma. I'll be very happy to help you out in this entire challenge and in your journey. Haven't subscribed to the channel yet? Make sure you subscribe it, hit the bell icon button so that you never miss a video from my side. And now without a further ado, let's start our session. We are in day one. Now let us gently come and sit in a comfortable position. This is Sukh Asan, keeping your back straightened. Bring your index fingers to the thumb palms facing up. We will start with centering. So close your eyes. And let us start to inhale slow, exhale slow for the next three times. As you are inhaling, you are energizing yourself. As you are exhaling, your body is getting relaxed. Let us repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. I am happy and healthy. On that positive note, bring your palms together in Namaste. Start to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. Bringing your palms to your face, energize yourself. Now look at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, let's start the session. All of our sessions will start with a Kriya and we will do Kapal Bhati in that. Quickly understand how to do Kapal Bhati. In Kapal Bhati, you will forcefully exhale and the belly will go inside. Then you'll inhale passively, the belly will get relaxed. Quickly look at it. So this is how we will go ahead. We will do total three rounds. Each round will be one minute. I will time it up. And as the time will get over, I will tell you, you can relax again. We'll go ahead for total three rounds, right? Now, if you have any challenge medically, if there is any medical condition, you can avoid doing this and you can just do the abdominal region breathing, which is inhale, belly out, exhale, belly in. So you can modify it for yourself. Now let's get started. Bring your index fingers to your thumb like this. Let me quickly set the timer. We are going for one minute. Let's start.
and we're done with one minute you can close your eyes just observe the changes happening within the body and mind feel that energy within the body and mind every time you do kapalabhati making sure that your facial muscles are completely relaxed you can continue to keep your eyes closed now we will go ahead for round 2 i will start the timer let's start And now you can relax. Again, continue closing your eyes, observing the changes. You'll feel a lot of ease in your inhale, a lot of ease in your exhale. Now we'll go ahead for the last round. In case you feel one minute is becoming more, you can do it for thirty seconds or forty seconds, depending upon what is comfortable for you. Let's get started. I'll start the timer. observe the changes observe the stimulation in and around your abdominal region it's a wonderful practice for us to improve our digestion and as you feel relaxed with a few blinks and a beautiful smile open up your eyes all right so that was our kriya kapal bhati now let's go ahead for one of the asana that will help us a little bit warm our body especially the spine we will be doing right now marjariya asan so let us turn ourselves to the side and all you need to do now is to bring your wrist below the shoulders and knees below the pelvis we will do it total 10 times quickly look at it how to do it 
you will inhale arch your back looking up and then you will round your back chin to the chest so let's go ahead now for total 10 rounds one inhale up exhale round two three four five six seven eight nine last one ten and gently relax now very slowly coming back all right so we are done here with our warm up which was our marjariya asan now we will go ahead for a power yoga sequence our today's session is all about power yoga so we will do a power yoga sequence in this you have a couple of asanas we will do them dynamically all we will do is basically we will give it a try to do it between 5 rounds to 10 rounds each asanas depending upon our own level we will reduce it to level uh, reduce it to 5 rounds or go ahead for total 10 rounds i will also show you the modification so let's go ahead with the first one in the power yoga sequence this is our malasana squatting position so there are two variations here you will keep the toes wide in both all you need to do is number 1 this one is for beginners if it if it is a challenge with the knees you will go only until here but if you have been practicing you will go all the way down and sit down in the malasana we'll try and do it for all 10 rounds you can reduce it for your level so let's get started now hands forward inhale exhale sitting down and then coming back up two exhale sitting down inhale up three exhale inhale four five six seven eight Nine. Last one. Ten. All right. So that was our first micro sequence in the big power yoga sequence. Let's go ahead for the second one now. This one is a yogic cycling. For this one, we will lie down on our back. So you will lie down on the back, and you can quickly look at it how to do it. This will work the same for all beginner or intermediate. You will lift your legs, you will take it forward in a circular motion. That's it. We'll go ahead for total 10 rounds. The only way to reduce the intensity in this is to reduce the number of cycles and take rest in between. So let's get started together. 1 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 
and then try to come up for intermediate try to come up fully all right like this but if you are a beginner and if it is too challenging first you lift your chest and then lift your knees up higher got it so let's go ahead for total 10 rounds you can reduce it based on your comfort let's get started so from here first inhale exhale and now inhale lift up in the plank santulanasan and then exhale going down 2 3 4 at your pace 5 Six. 6 7 8 Nine, almost there. The last time, ten, and relax. Take a deep breath. Inhale there. Exhale, very gently, coming back. And now again, we will stand up. We'll go ahead for our next asana, which is Parshvottan Asan. Quickly look at it first. You'll open the legs like this, turning the toes to the side. Left toe will be diagonal. Hands will go up higher. You will go exhale down. If you can touch the ground, great. And then you will come up. Inhale. That's it. Now, how will you make it easier for you? By bending the knees, and you can reduce the number of rounds also. So let's start together. Both the feet almost outside the shoulders, turning your right toe to the right. Left toe diagonal. Raise your hands up higher. Inhale. Exhale, keeping the back as straight as possible. Fingertips down. And then inhale, come back up. 2. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. 3. Inhale, up. 4. Inhale. Five, six. Push your hands as forward as possible. Seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. and then relax let's do it on the other side now all you need to do is to turn the left toe to the left side right toe diagonal raising your hands up high with me inhale you want to bend your knees a little bit you can inhale exhale forward inhale back two three Four. Keep moving with me. Five. Six. Seven. Every movement with a breath. Eight. Nine. Last one, ten. Wonderful. Just relax your hands. All right, I'm already sweating. I'm sure you are also. That's where the results will come from. We'll quickly now sit down. Going ahead for our next asana, which is Bhujang Asana. This will be slightly easier on us. We'll just lie down flat on the belly, taking the forehead down. hands by the side of your rib cage legs together 
Now from here, all you need to do is to lift yourself up in Bhujangasana and then exhale, forehead down. That's it. You can go ahead for whatever round you feel comfortable. Totally, we'll go ahead for 10. Let's start. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Two. Make sure the navel is touching the ground all throughout. Three. And elbows are closer to you. Four. Five. Six. Inhale up. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. All right, very gently, taking your hands forward, relax yourself, take a deep breath, inhale there. Exhale it out completely. And now from there, coming back to the tabletop position. The next one is Makar Adho Mukha Shvanasana. For simple understanding, it is four arms plank. In that, we will do a variation. We'll quickly look at it. In this one, the first thing that you need to do is to just Understand the distance. You should be able to touch your fingertips to the elbow. Then you open your palms and then you come to the forearms plank. From here, you will take your right leg out, left leg out, right in, left in. That's it. But we'll do it a lot of with breath awareness. And the thing that you need to continue to avoid is this. Try and avoid lifting your hip. Keep it lower, tighten the glutes, pull the belly in. This will help you in terms of better results also. Good strength and good stability. All right, let's go ahead. Go ahead for whatever number of rounds works best. If this is becoming challenging, do it with the knees down. Right knee out, left, right in, left in. All right, let's get started now. Coming to the plank, forearms plank. One. Two. You can keep, continue to breathe regularly inhale and exhale three slow and steady four five six you can take a break whenever you feel the need Seven. Eight. Nine. Almost there. Ten. Wonderful. Taking your knees down. And then coming back. We are almost done with our power yoga sequence. One last thing. This one is going to be a hold. And every time we do a power yoga sequence in this entire challenge, the structure is going to be same. So this is the hold of our day. Kali Asan. Quickly look at it, how to do it. You will open the legs wider. I'm sweating all over. Your toes will be out. And then you will start to bend like this, trying to bring your hip lower, almost in line with your knees, right? You need to push the knees back as much as possible. All right. now. To make it easier, you might just want to be here. To go deeper, you might want to go down. You might want to go down, right? We'll try and hold this for total 30 seconds. I'll set a timer. It's all about the mind, not about the body. Let's give our best shot to hold it for 30 seconds. All right, let's come into this and let me start the timer then. Inhale and exhale, 30 seconds. Let's hold it here. For the support, you can take your palms here or here. Just breathe in and out. Have a nice smile. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. Breathe, my friend. Breathe. Inhale deep. 
exhale slow almost there five four three two one and we are done very slowly come back just bring your legs closer all right congratulations the day one and the power yoga sequence is done i know your heart rate will be faster breathing will be faster let's calm it down with cooling down asanas let us sit comfortably and then lie down the first asana that we are doing right now is setu bandh asan let's quickly look at it you'll have your legs bent folded feet will be closer to you you will lift the hip as high as you can and then you'll try and take your palms either down or you can interlock your palms pressing it down whichever works best we'll go ahead with that we'll hold it for total 10 counts so let's get started lift your hip up higher as much as the body allow either you will interlock your palms or keep it separate let us hold it one the higher you lift better it is two breathe in breathe out three four five six hold it there seven eight nine almost done and 10 release your hands bring your pelvis down and relax for once going for a deep inhale exhale perfect let's go ahead now for our last asan this is supta madhyendra asan let us take the left leg forward and take your right foot outside your left thigh we can do it together itself left leg is straight right foot is outside your left thigh now use your left palm to grab your right knee keep your right hand in line with the right shoulder take a deep breath inhale exhale press the right knee down to the left side holding it here for the next 10 1 2 3 keep looking to the right 4 5 7 eight, 9 10 very slowly come back now stretch your right leg fold the left leg take your left foot outside your right now take your right palm holding your left knee and your left hand will be in line with the left shoulder drop the left knee to the right look to the left 1 2 3 4 keep breathing in and out 10 very slowly let us bring the left leg back adjust yourself a little bit on the mat open the legs almost shoulder width apart toes will be falling down palms facing up keep your eyes closed let's go ahead for abdominal region breathing for the next 5 times every time you inhale let your belly rise up every time you exhale let your belly relax
Let's go ahead for three humming sound to deepen the relaxation. Going for a deep and long inhale. Observe the vibrations all throughout your body and mind. Your body and mind are now completely relaxed. Gently come back to the body consciousness, sensitize your toes, your palms, bringing your legs closer, point your toes forward, interlock your palms and stretch the arms behind, slowly loosen up, folding your legs, taking a turn to one of the sides, giving support to your head with your arm gently come back sitting in a comfortable position with your back straightened let us bring the palms together in namaste going for a deep inhale Gently start to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. Bringing your palms to your face. Energize yourself. Looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friend. So this is the end of our today's session. Day one of our 30 day yoga for weight loss challenge with me. How did you find it? Do let me know in the comment section. I'll be very happy to hear. And remember those three rules that I shared in the beginning. Make sure you keep following it to see the best results. I'll see you in the next session. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye.